we're the merchant marine And we sail across the sea As the U-boats torpedoes hunt for halls that they can reach We will brave the rugged ocean Blistering winds test our devotion But we'll keep steam until our cargo's on the beach Steaming since 1945, she is 455 feet long, 62 feet wide, and 109 feet tall. Her powerful 6,000 horsepower twin steam turbine engines allow her to cruise at a maximum of 16 knots, carrying the equivalent of 300 freight cars or 2,450 jeeps and 450 Sherman tanks. Originally, she was armed with one 3-inch 50 caliber gun, one 5-inch 38 caliber gun, and eight strategically placed 20 millimeter or Lycan anti-aircraft guns. This venerable veteran of three wars steamed more than 500,000 nautical miles during her career, transporting military cargo and supplies. She visited 31 countries, 18 states and territories, traversed the Panama Canal 18 times and the Suez Canal three times. She circumnavigated the world twice, survived two typhoons in the Pacific, and a hurricane in the Atlantic. Earning several service ribbons, she is one of only four World War II era merchant ships in the United States that still get underway, embarking on two reliving history cruises a year. Seaworthy and steaming as before. From birth 271 in the Ebor Turning Basin, she is the SS American Victory, Mariner's Memorial and Museum Ship. This is a, a, a dream come true. It absolutely is. And, and the greatest thing is, is a dream shared not by one, but by so many. Welcome aboard. Today, the SS American Victory joins her two sister ships, the Lane Victory, and the Red Oak Victory, and two Liberty ships, the John Brown and the Jeremiah O'Brien, in serving as memorials honoring the brave merchant seamen, U.S. Navy armed guard crews, and others who lost their lives building, sailing, and defending valuable cargo ships. Getting the dead ship to Tampa and turning her into a living memorial was no small feat. It took an act of Congress and an enormous amount of help from volunteers and the Tampa Bay Maritime community to make it all possible. The volunteers come from all walks of life, for many different reasons, but they all have one thing in common. They are truly in love with their ship and have a profound respect for those who go down to the sea in merchant ships. By pouring their hearts and souls into renovation and restoration projects, donating nearly 100,000 hours of service to their ship, this hard-working and dedicated volunteer crew have accomplished what many thought was impossible. They resurrected a great piece of steel and machinery. Went on another uh, victory ship to get parts off of it to bring back here, which we got them was a total replacement of the ship's radio from that ship. Uh, it was the SS Hattiesburg. Wow, you got to see this. Look at this. Here's the ship I was on. I can't believe it. Here I am, same ship, nothing much is different. And I'm sitting on it, and here, the main thing that's different is my age. <laughs> I was a kid in my 20s, and now an old wild lover in my 80s. I was brought aboard as chief radio man, so I did my first service on this ship before it went to see it. I sat here in this same chair, the same radio in 1945 when the ship was launched brand new and smelled brand new. And what I recall about doing the trial run is we hit a phenomenal speed. All those years ago I was on this ship and it's part of my World War II memories. John Ritter, radioman operate the radios and do whatever necessary to clean out, paint, whatever it takes. As you embark upon your onboard adventure through the companionways and weather decks of the SS American Victory, remember she is an authentic working ship, fully functional and capable of getting underway. 
Now we mourn our fallen brothers Pray to God there'll be no others Blown to bits by diving demons deep below For the carnage and the thunder That sucked those good boys under Happens daily and we've three more days to go We're the merchant marine And we sail across sea As the U-boats torpedoes Hunt for halls that they can breach We will brave the rugged ocean Blistering winds, less down of ocean But we'll keep steaming till our cargo's on the beach we're the Merchant Marine, and we sail across the sea. As the U-boats torpedoes hunt for halls that they can breach. We will brave the rugged ocean, blistering winds, to start of ocean. But we'll keep steaming till our cargo's on the beach. Yes, we'll keep steaming till our cargo's on the beach.